Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to my latest video. So in today's video, uh, I'm just going to do a very short introduction now. Um, it is Monday, it is the day of the secret plan or the little secretive sourcing, new sourcing strategy. Um, and today, as we speak, I have hired a man with a van to go to an auction house. It's not my closest auction house, but it's an auction house that isn't, you know, major, far away or anything. Uh, you know, it's fairly local. Um, but what I, what I wanted to do was get a lot of stuff, uh, you know, at this particular auction house, it's fairly cheap, you know, it's not really cheap compared to some of the guys I've heard getting five boxes of stuff for £2 plus commission. I wish I lived in places like that, but, you know, it's fairly cheap um, considering other auction houses around me are quite uh, expensive because they're in affluent areas and things like that, but fairly cheap, wanted to get a lot of stuff. Didn't want to go back there about three, there and back three or four times, so it seemed the obvious choice now with the kind of way my business is progressing. I need to hire a man with a van when I'm doing these things. So um, yeah, give me a, he gave me a really good quote. Um, my mum as well, my mum's company actually uses him, and um, my mum's friends I think have used him as well. So word of mouth says a lot. It's always good to to get someone that, you know, your friends and your family regard highly because, you know, as I say, it says a lot. So I uh, checked on anyvan.co.uk before I even knew about him, and he's coming in at pretty much the same cost as that, which he, which is a reasonable cost. So, But, yeah, we will get into the video now, and uh, I will head down to the lockup. So I'll see you very soon. So this is the whole of stuff. I didn't end up doing any filming. The only reason was, was it was just we were straight into it. We were straight getting it out of the van. There was no messing around. We just, you know, started getting it out and putting it in the lockup really. So I didn't really do any filming. I just had a nice chat to the guy. Um, and we've scheduled another um, pickup for February. So that'll be good. I, you know, I said February because it's going to take me a couple of weeks at least to get through all this, if not longer. Um, but also, I've got a car boot again, not you know, in early Feb. I've got another auction in February as well as the one that he'll be picking up from. Uh, there'll be another auction that I'm just going to myself um, and picking up just in the car. Um, so there'll be a lot of opportunity for stock, and I'm trying to get into merch a little bit more, and I'm trying to. Uh, do a load more of the stuff as well with the Amazon FBA and all manner of stuff. So yeah um, I, I've scheduled one for February, but that'd be pretty cool to do that. But anyway, what have I got? I've just got an eclectic mix uh, paid up on some boxes paid uh, less on other boxes, but my new strategy is if um, I go over my maximum bid on one item, then I've got to be coming under my maximum bid on another item. And if that happens, then it all works out at a similar cost anyway. So although I still have maximum bids for every every item, which is a massive, massive tip for if you're doing auctions, always have set yourself a maximum bid. Although I still have maximum bids for individual items, I'm not as strict with it as I used to be because I always think if I get one lot really cheap and I go over a little bit on another one, then it all averages it out. But you've got to make sure that you end up getting one lot for cheap, otherwise it doesn't average out. You're just paying up for everything. Um, but yeah, I've got some military clothing. We've got uh, some blenders down there that you can't see. We've got some brand new tags jackets. We've got a load of, you know, sort of miscellaneous boxes. You know those boxes you get at auction. Miscellaneous boxes of ceramics, cookware. Loads of different stuff. I think there's a bit of silver plate and stuff in there. Uh, there's a lovely, like, sort of pot over there. It's really nice. It's uh, Studio Pottery, actually. Um, and it's really, really nice. That one there where my finger is, you won't be able to see it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate haul video anyway as I take the stuff home. I'm going to take it home at, like, probably a car load at a time to be efficient. Um, so it'll probably be about two car loads here, I would imagine, or just, just shy. Um, so yeah, and we've got this big bag of military like ammo bags or something like that. Anyway, I don't, I'm not too sure, but I'll have to look through it. Um, and then we've got, yeah, as I say, loads more stuff. That, there is a box under there as well. Um, but yeah, definitely a better sourcing strategy for me. Buying bigger auction, um, you know, taking that little bit of a cost to actually get it delivered here, um, which I don't mind because I can be doing other things while... Uh, he's collecting it for me, which is always good, you know, I'm sort of doubling my time a little bit. 
Um, so it's not just the cost of him collecting. To me, it's, uh, it's more of a time cost as well. I get my time back as well as uh, someone basically doing my job for me or partly doing my job for me and collecting this stuff. So, um, yeah, pretty cool, pretty happy. I'm going to load it all into the car and I'm going to get back home, I think. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to show you this and uh, just sort of show you what my sort of plan is uh, going forward with eBay because this is the eBay side of my business. This is not Amazon. Uh, Amazon is a, a different ball game altogether, really. Amazon, at the moment, I'm just like, stockpile loads of crap for quarter four and, and that's it like i'm not bothered as much about what i'm sending up during the year i'm just gonna stockpile loads for quarter four if, uh, you know and, and if i can get it on the cheap uh, at car boots and things like that then that's uh, the way to do it really then i've not got a lot of cost tied up and then uh come you know october november i can send it all up and get a really nice payday so that's my kind of strategy with amazon this year going a little bit different than last year, um, but yeah, this is the eBay side of my business, and then hopefully, if things work out, I can get the merch side of my business up and running as well, you know, I mean, it would be really good, because merch isn't going to take a lot of time out of my day, because I'm buying designs, obviously, so um, merch, even like for me to get 10 designs up, in terms of my time, will literally take me 10 minutes, it literally takes me a minute to upload the design, because I'm paying for de designs and stuff, so um, yeah, um, that is really, really cool, um, and that means that I'm, I, I might potentially get a lot of money for a very little time injection, and that's what I'm about this year. I'm about trying to build income with little time going into it, um, and outsourcing the time as much as I can. Uh, the, the word of 2018 is outsourcing that for me, you know, outsourcing is the word. But anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Hi, guys, it's Adam, and uh, I just wanted to tag this onto the end of the video. So I've been looking through this um, box of, like, new old stock fishing stuff. And I'll just focus that in one sec. There we go. New old stock fishing stuff, and there's other new old stock things in there and there's a few bits that aren't new old stock particularly but the box was advertised as that which is uh, NOS, uh, NOS yeah new old stock so um yeah I've just what piqued my interest is these um I can see here Talbot um rod binding thread the manufacturer's choice so I found a listing there's only one that's ever sold and it says on the says on the listing extremely rare but I <laughs> You know, everyone puts that for bloody everything these days. Like, I mean, everyone seems to put wear on the listings, even for a blooming Twister game or Hasbro Buckaroo. They'll put wear on it for some reason. Um, but yeah, so I can just say, same box, uh, same box. Obviously, mine's a little bit worse, worse the wear, worse condition than that. Um, and you can see two bids, six ninety nine uh, plus uh, the postage two ninety, and that has actually sold. Um, Sorry, it's going to be a bit shaky for a sec while I navigate the mouse. So as you can see there, um, it is basically for two reels. That's it, just two. Now, I think there's meant to be 12 in these boxes for the simple fact that I have 12 in here. Um, so if he's got 6 99 plus post for two rolls that are pink... Now, I, don't, I confess, I don't know much about this stuff, and I don't know whether pink is a better colour than black for certain people whether pink is a more desirable color for these things i don't know i would imagine black is probably the best color because it's nice and simplistic you know it's only rod binding fluid uh, rod binding uh, thread so i don't think people are bothered about colors or anything but i don't know maybe certain colors are sought after but i've got 12 there so that might be and i mean most of them look new old stock you can see that some of the ends are actually sort of slightly loose but i think most of them are just you know new old stock really um so not only have i got them 12 i've actually got a few more as well over here so as you can see i've got focus that in again if it'll let me i've got 12 there 12 there seven there and then i've got a few in this box as well that are maybe not so new old stock but i'm not sure maybe we are um i just threw them in there but yeah so i've got like another four or five there so I don't know what that is in total, what, 12, 12, over 12, that's 36, uh, like 43, how many, 5, so like 48, uh, you know, reels in total, 
I don't know what that can get. Could that, you know, should I put them on auction maybe? Something, you know, risk it at maybe like a four ninety nine, nine ninety nine start and hope it goes up. I mean, I've not really got a lot invested in this box to be honest, so maybe I should do that, you know, maybe I should see see where it goes. But I don't know a buy it now price for these. I mean, I, you know, if I was doing buy it now for these, I might just whack it on really high, like 40, 50 quid or something and, and see who takes it. But I don't know, maybe it's better for auction and just see the price level. But certainly interesting little find for the first box I've actually gone through. And let's say I put these on auction and let's say they do go up to 40, 50 quid or maybe even higher, I don't know. I'm really just guessing at this point from what two rolls of wheels have gone for. But, um... If they do that, then that's a really nice chunk of my money back just from a few little items in one box, considering I've got quite a lot of boxes to go through, you know, it's pretty uh, pretty nice start to the to the digging, really, to the research. So, yeah, I don't know, that's pretty cool. So, a nice little find, uh, interesting. I wanted to go through this box first because I was just kind of drawn to it, to be honest. I'm, I have said on other videos I'm not really that interested in fishing stuff. Um, you know, I don't fish myself or anything like that, but for some reason I bid a bid on this box and I've been drawn to it, you know, first off. So I don't know, maybe, maybe I do quite like the listing fishing stuff or new old stock fishing stuff. So yeah, just wanted to sort of talk about that. I also got these bullseye, uh, daisy, uh, golden bullseye BB bullets or something. As you can see, we are in this shop. Well, I don't know, we were in a shop ages ago for 55p, apparently, going off at what it says there. Um, but one of these is sold. Now, it is a slightly different outer packaging, but the balls are the same inside, uh, going off the listing, looking off the listing and cross-checking it with the ones I have here. Um, one pack is sold for 25 quid. Uh, well, it, sorry, it was 20... Actually, I need to um, clarify. It was £25, but they did accept an offer. So, for that could be... That could be five quid, actually, that offer. But uh, So, it's a little bit misleading. But certainly, you know, they are slightly different. They were a slightly different pack, as I mentioned. You know, slightly different uh, packaging. Um, but, yeah, I might go for, like, I don't know, 15 to 20 quid on each of them and see where I go. Nice one listing with, obviously, six quantity there. And just see what happens with them. So that's quite nice as well. Nice little find there. Potentially maybe there's 50, 60 quid in them. Even if I accept offers of 10 quid a pack or something. So yeah, quite cool there. Um, so yeah, I'll I'll finish off there. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you did get something out of the video. I know I didn't really do a lot of filming. My intention was to do more filming. But to be honest, I was just chatting to the guy. We were having a nice conversation. And I didn't want to sort of interrupt that by... Um, you know filming or anything like that so uh, maybe next time you know once I've got to know him a little bit better then I'll do um, a lot more filming um, because I'll be a bit more comfortable around him and stuff and he'll he'll be a bit more comfortable around me and uh, it'll be you know be a bit better relationship there so yeah I'll leave it there guys thank you very much for joining me again and I will see you in the next one <laughs>